All right, what is good, YouTube? Boss Money from Chirac News. So I'm going to do a quick little video or uh, follow-up on this FBG Duck situation. Uh, first off, I just want to shout out to all my new subscribers and uh, appreciate all the feedback on that video, man, even negative and positive. But uh, I just want to clear a couple things up. Um, and I know a lot of people are trying to say he didn't get shot now. But listen, man, I'm not 95% sure now. I'm not 100%. I'm 200% positive. He did get shot in the shoulder. Uh, the one thing I did get wrong is it, it wasn't on uh, 63rd and St. Lawrence. The cops or the uh, news article did fuck that up. It was actually, uh, what was it? It was the 8300 block of South Stony Island. But, yeah, man, I know a lot of people, he responded to the situation. I'm going to play the video in a second. But he basically said something like, I don't know where y'all getting this get well duck soon from. And a lot of people are taking that as him, like, denying the situation, man. But I'm going to basically just make sure y'all watch this whole video because I'm going to explain why... I think and probably is the reason why he's uh not like acknowledging the fact and trying to hide the fact that he did get shot, but trust me, man, 200% positive he did get hit in the shoulder. And I also want to clear up, man, I know uh, I got like 150, 200 comments about the, the jealousy statement I made, but either you guys are take took it the wrong way or you just want to find something to disagree about, Um, but listen, man. When I first made this channel, I, I clearly, I told y'all in the first fucking TB t video, like, th my channel is dedicated to this war, man. The STL, Taekwon World, Jaro City vs. O-Block 600. Like, this is the one war, man, I really follow. I know a shit ton of uh, information about. But I know every fucking, every death and shooting in this fucking war, man. I got people trying to give me a history lesson. Fucking, but when I said that, man, that was... Like, that was solely based on this, like, past month or two since Duck got signed. Like, it's probably been one of the most violent fucking two months in this whole seven-year war, whenever it started 2011. Like, they've literally been sliding every single day for, like, two weeks straight, man. STL, Eberhardt, Rhodes, Vernon, they've been getting hit up literally every day. And that that's what I was talking about. Like, y'all took it the wrong way, man. I, I Trust me, man. I know... Uh, I know the fucking history, man. I know it's not just jealousy. Even if fucking, even if Duck was dead, bro, wasn't rapping, if no one was rapping on their side, like, I know, man, there would still be shootings. They would still be getting hit up. All I was saying is that this recent fucking uptick in violence, there's definitely some jealousy, some envy um, that's causing it, man. You guys can uh, disagree with that, but it ain't no fucking amateur with me, man. Like, I know what's going on, so... I just don't, I, I don't get the need for all those fucking comments, but like I said, people just want to find something to disagree about. But either way, that's a fucking opinion-based comment. Like, obviously no one in Old Black Side, man, is going to admit they're jealous, but since Duck Side, man, started getting money, they, they, they really, they just took it to a whole new level. Like, that's what I meant basically by that, but. So I'm going to pull up this video quick and uh, play it for you guys, and uh, this is the reason why people are trying to say he didn't get shot, but he, he doesn't actually deny the shooting. But I understand why people would take it as that. Um, but I also do understand why Duck is trying to uh, trying to hide the fact that he did and uh, not acknowledge it. So we'll talk about that after I uh, play the video. Trying to figure out what the f is everybody getting his get well Duck some shit. Bitch, say any fucking thing on the internet. I'll get some money. All right. So again, y'all heard what he said, but uh, he doesn't really deny not getting shot. Um, I know a lot of people are taking it that way, though. Got a bunch of people trying to tell me he didn't and uh, stop putting out false news. But listen, man, I was, the, I was the first one to break that story. I was the first one to confirm he did get hit. And that's kind of a big deal to me, man, because I'm trying to grow my channel. And that was like the first big story I broke. So uh, y'all got to give me credit for that. And uh, I, I never said, I told y'all he was in stable condition. Like, no homo. Duck a big dude, man. He like 6'6", six, six, probably fucking 260. Like, he probably ate that shoulder shot. But I do understand why he's doing this, man. And what I think is, uh, like, when you when you sign a deal, man, with a, a label, like, he signed to Sony. Um, he probably got, a, I don't know, forty fifty thousand dollars $50,000 advance. A label, man, they, they don't want you out there. Like, that's another reason why these Chicago dudes, I know they said, oh, they're being blackballed, but it's the violence, man. They don't want to put money, invest money into someone that's going to end up getting killed. And I don't know what kind of agreements he had in his label, but I'm sure they, they wouldn't be happy, man, if uh, they found out Duck got shot. But I, I'm sure he's already talked to fucking executives and shit, and he, he's not going to lie to him, man. Um, like he, uh, Duck is straight up, dude. He ain't going to front his move, man. Like I said, he didn't deny it, but 
I, I understand what he's doing, man. Um, and I, I can respect that, but that's what I really think it is, man. It just has it has everything to do with label and the image, and he, he doesn't want to uh, he doesn't want to put that out there, man. You could honestly potentially get your fucking you could get dropped from the label, get your deal taken away for that. Like, obviously, these labels they want to make money, man. They want to make money back, and you can't do that if your artist is dead. So again, I, I don't know any of the agreements in the contract. But uh, I'm sure, like I said, they, they wouldn't be happy if they found out he got shot. And they're probably going to be pushing him more to get out of Chicago after this. And I don't know, man. If Duck is watching this, like, I know Duck had a lot of pride, man. He's always said he's going to stay in Chicago. And he's like, he's real heavy and hard on that, the fact that he's still in Chicago. But it, you, ain't, you ain't got nothing to prove to nobody, man. Like, Duck's fucking, he's solidified, man. His Duck been in this shit fucking ten toes deep, man, for seven years. Like, he, you can't question Duck, man. Even the ops respect him. A lot of them won't admit it, but... Trust me, man. His resume at 100. He don't got shit to prove. And I know everyone is going to say, Oh, you just fucking FBG. You want STL side. But people said that way. When I talk about Obak, man. Like, the BDs was winning for years, man. Like, especially on the music side. But you got to give respect where it's due, man. I'm just speaking facts. Right now, fucking the GDs, FBG, man, they're doing their thing. Uh, fucking, even Ty, like, right now, man, you got Duck, Cash, Young, Dutchie, all doing their thing. And then even the fucking Taekwondo World shorties, man. Two times and fucking, uh, oh, I can't even think of other shorties' name, man. But they, they go they go crazy right now in the music, man. Like I said, the BDs was winning for years. Rondo was out, fucking, but I don't know. Right now, man, I don't even, you can't even say really that Dirk and Reesey. But they're, they're, really, they're not really connected to this war like that, man. They're not really in this shit. Like, the two dudes that BD's got right now probably putting on the most are, uh, like, that are really in this shit is, like, Mimo and Just Blow. But, I don't know, you got Booker, Buka, whatever. But I just, I don't know. I don't fuck with Buka music, man. But, like I said, man, the GDs, man, they just, you gotta give respect where it's due, man. And right now, they doing their thing. So, that's all I'm saying, man. I, I don't choose sides, man. I just give respect where it's due. So yeah, man, I just wanted to clear that up quick. Um, y'all gonna believe what y'all want either way, but uh, I'm just, I don't want people thinking I'm just putting it, putting that out just to get views, man. Uh, I speak facts only, and uh, I give credit where it's due, man. But, uh, again, I understand, man, Duck even, like, look at the whole past fucking, the whole past six months, man, he's just, he's pub he's not publicly, like, posting about violence and shit, man. His whole Instagram cleaned up strictly about the music, strictly business. And I, I respect that, man. So I, I understand what he's doing, man. But I'm sure he, even himself, he'll come out and uh, admit it within the next few weeks. And I could be wrong about the whole label situation, why he's doing it. But that just logically, man, that makes the most sense to me. And uh, I mean, a lot of times these dudes don't like to give credit to their ops, but like I said, just the way he's been moving and uh, not really posting anything about the violence on uh, publicly on his Instagram, that makes the most sense. So, And uh, also, man, they're, they're, like he, he posted a couple live videos literally the day after he got shot, man. And uh, you could clearly see the fucking bandage on his shoulder. So, I don't know. Again, y'all take it how you want it, but just know, man, he did get shot. So, y'all know where y'all heard it first. But uh, just stay tuned, man. I, I got some more shit coming for y'all. But uh, yeah, basically, man, I appreciate all the new subscribers, all the feedback. Make sure y'all hit that like button for me, and uh, just stay tuned. But until next time, it's your boy Boss Mana. Stay safe out there in Chirac.